What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. All right, check this out. We are in an active construction zone here and I'm testing FSD. This is with the spring update. This is still version 12.3.6. And right now the roads are split up using these cones here. And with no input whatsoever, I'm letting FSD drive me through this and let's see if it can figure out how to navigate through the construction as it's going on. Notice how it's slowing down a little bit for this portion here, but looks like it's doing its thing. There's a bag of mulch on the road, taking up some part of the road, but it went through that no problem. And as you can see here, they're repaving the other side of the road. I'm actually on the brand new paved side of it, but it looks like we're getting up to the point where the construction might be ending. So let's see how FSD takes control of the situation. And let's hope that it knows what to do here. And overall, I got to score that a 10. Definitely through the construction, it did a great job. Notice how as soon as the construction ended, it automatically readjusted half the tire onto the non-pave because it thinks that that is the right way to drive because there's no cones and it really can't tell the difference between paved and unpaved so right now it's driving with the two right tires on the paved and the two left tires on the unpaved because of the way the road is laid out but yeah overall now look at it's merging right back into the unpaved side because that is actually a right turn lane and becomes a bike lane so it just did a really good job using its AI capabilities by sensing, by using the cameras, its surroundings and drove through it perfectly. And just, yeah, overall, as you can see, it did a really good job there. Now let's see, really nice job stopping at this light where it doesn't have the line in the front. So nice job figuring out that there's a little entrance right there to the animal hospital. So it left the space without any lines on the floor so really nice to see that it's kind of stitching together what it's supposed to do let's see what it does here it looks like they just put down these little reflectors wow fsd made it through the two reflectors without the tires touching the reflectors that was really nice i don't know if they meant to do that or if that was just luck but yeah it did it and um now we're looking to make a right and uh, it really did a nice job kind of blending in with traffic and I, I really think it did phenomenal going through the construction part there man really hot day here in the dmv we're looking at 87 degrees as you can see i had the ac on blast um much needed today but yeah overall i have to say i'm really excited for 12.4 coming out maybe this weekend so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Um, stay tuned for that. I will be testing out all of these same routes with 12.4, being able to do like a side-by-side -side comparison to see kind of how it's acting now and what sort of improvements it made. Um, definitely looking forward to the removal of the steering wheel nag. <clears throat> That's gonna be, of course, right when I set it, the nag pops up. That's going to be the most exciting feature and I think that a lot of people who have been on the, on the fence about trying FSD will definitely give it a try after um, they remove the steering wheel nag. I know personally people that just feel like as soon as that nag comes up, something in their brain goes off and they kind of freak out and no longer pay attention to the road. And so that's prevented some people just to not use FSD at all. But I mean, I got over that in like 10 minutes. Some people are wired for it, some people aren't. But you know, if you're able to sit through and understand what the car is asking from you, then you can kind of get through it. And I've had a lot of people drop in the comments below that you can actually use your um, volume up and down to remove the nag which it definitely works I'm really just muscle memory steered into like grabbing the steering wheel like that 
Now, I don't like the fact that FSD sits in this lane here. I like for it to be in that lane. So what I'm gonna do is I'm taking over right here because sometimes I'll actually miss this light. Um, and FSD always stops at a yellow light. So I just went ahead and moved up to this lane and re-engaged just because I know, um, yeah. And once you're familiar with your route, you know, if there's certain things you don't like seeing FSD do, you know, just fix it maybe over time. Really what I should have done is actually sent a voice note there, but it's kind of hard for me whenever I'm making a video to remember to send a voice note because I'm trying to also narrate what's going on. So yeah, really nice job with this left turn, really tight left turn it made there, but it handled it really nicely. And overall, really no major um, complaints with this job. I think the input that it asked was fair and uh, overall seeing it navigate through the construction definitely builds a little bit of confidence moving forward when i if i enter any you know construction areas i know i know construction is one of the things that can throw it off but i see it's improving over time but it you know it doesn't mean just forget about what's going on you definitely want to be on the edge of your seat always um but at the same time it has gotten a lot better with construction. When I first started with FSD, construction and weather were the two things that would just throw it off completely. And now I'm not having any issues with weather. Um, and uh, yeah, construction so far, no major issues whatsoever. So yeah, definitely want to thank everyone for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button if you did drop a comment below let me know your thoughts we are gonna try to end this on an auto park let's see how long it takes so starting from now so the car is officially using tesla vision to park and this is no sensors we're in a hardware 4 model y and it's able to park by just using cameras so there's no sensors in this car this is end to end. It's doing the gas and the brakes and the steering all for me. If you pay attention, you can actually see the brake pedal and the accelerator pedal move just like you see the steering wheel move. It's completely remote. You know, the AI is doing it itself instead of me. So yes, that may take right now 30 seconds longer than I would have to park, but you know it's pretty cool to see your car can park itself and um yeah it's if it's something that comes you know included with fsd so if it's not something that you would use every day you can just use it for the driving and park yourself but i think it's a pretty cool feature so yeah once again want to thank everyone for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it and i hope you have a great rest of your day